affection for his personal for his personal body, his wife, his children, his palace, his animals like horses and elephants, his treasury house, his friends and relatives, and his undisputed kingdom. Text three and four. Paprachachemam ivartam yanmam prichyata sattamaha krishnanu bhava shravane shraddhano mahamana sansatam vikya sansyasya karmatrai vargikam chayat vasudeva bhagvati Atma bhavam prudam gataha. O oh, great sages, the great soul Maharaja Parikshit, constantly wrapped in thought of Lord Krishna, knowing well of his imminent <clears throat> death, renounced all sorts of fruitive activities, namely acts of religion, economic development, and sense gratification, and thus fixed himself firmly in his natural love for Krishna and asked all these questions exactly as you are asking me. Text 5. Rajo Uvacha Samichinam Bacho Brahman Sarvagasya Tavanada Tamo Vishyarte Maham Araha Katyata Katham Maharaja Parikshit said, O learned Brahmana, you know everything because you are without material contamination. Therefore, whatever you have spoken to me appears perfectly right. Your speeches are gradually destroying the darkness of my ignorance, for you are narrating the topics of the Lord. Bhuya eva vivit sami bhagwanat mamayaya Yathedam srujate vishwam durvi bhavya madishwaraha. Mataji, could you scroll up, please? Thank you. I beg to know from you how the personality of Godhead, by his personal energies, creates these phenomenal universes as they are, which are inconceivable even to the great demigods. Text 7. Yatha gopayati vibhur yatha samyachate punaha yam yam shakti mu parshitya puru shakti para puman atman kridayan kridan karoti vikruti cha. Kindly describe how the Supreme Lord who is all-powerful, engages his different energies and different expansions in maintaining and again winding up the phenomenal world in the sporting spirit of a player. Text 8. Noonam Bhagvato Brahman Harar Adbhuta Karmanaha Durvi bhavyam ivabhati kavi bhischapi cheshtitam. O learned Brahmana, the transcendental activities of the Lord are all wonderful and they appear <coughs> inconceivable because even great endeavors by many learned scholars have still proved insufficient for understanding them. Text 9. Yatha gunam stru prakritar yugapat kramasho piva bibharti burishastva eka kurven karmani janma bihi. The Supreme Personality of Godhead is one. Whether he alone acts with the modes of material nature, or simultaneously expands in many forms or expands consecutively to direct the modes of nature. Text 10. Vichikit shitam etan me 
प्रवीतु भगवान यथा शब्दे ब्रह्मानी निष्णात भावन खलु Kindly clear up all these doubtful inquiries because you are not only vastly learned in the Vedic literatures and self-realized in transcendence but are also a great devotee of the Lord and are therefore as good as the personality of Godhead. Text 11 Suta Uvacha Iti Upa Mantrito Rajna Ragya Gunanu Kathane Hare Rishi Kesham Anusmritya Prati Vakta Mataji, please scroll up. Thank you. Sutta Goswami said, When Sukadev Goswami was thus requested by the king to describe the creative energy of the personality of Godhead, he then systematically remembered the master of the senses, Sri Krishna, and to reply properly he spoke thus shri shuka uvacha nama parasme purusha bhuyase sad udbhav stana nirodh leelaya grihita shakti tritaya ya dehinam antar bhavya nu palaksha vartamane Sukadev Goswami said, Let me offer my respectful obeisances unto the Supreme Personality of Godhead who, for the creation of the material world, accepts the three modes of nature. He is the complete whole residing within the body of everyone and his ways are inconceivable. Text 13 Bhuyo Nama I again offer my respectful obeisances unto the form of complete existence and transcendence who is the liberator of the pious devotees from all distresses and the destroyer of the further advances in atheistic temperature of the non-devotee demons for the transcendentalists who are situated in the topmost spiritual perfection he grants their specific destinations text 14 नमो नमस्ते स्व ऋषभाया सत्वतम विदुरा काष्टया मुहु कुयोगिनाम निरष्ट साम्यत्य सैना राधसा स्वधामनी ब्रह्मानी रस्यते नमः लेट मी ऑफर माय रिस्पेक्टफुल अबेसेंसेस अनटु हिम हु इज द एसोसिएट of the members of the yadu dynasty and who is always a problem for the non devotees he is the supreme enjoyer of both the material and the spiritual worlds yet he enjoys his own abode in the spiritual sky there is no one equal to him because his transcendental opulence is immeasurable text 15 उपिशियस लोड श्री कृष्ण about whom glorification remembrances audience prayers hearing and worship can at once cleanse 
the effects of all sins of the performer. Text 16. Vichakshana yacharanu pas shaudanat sangam vyadasya bhayato natar atmanaha vindantihi brahma gatim gata klamash tasmai subhadra sarvase namo namaha. Let me offer my respectful obeisances again and again unto the all-auspicious Lord Sri Krishna, the highly intellectual, simply by surrendering unto his lotus feet, are relieved of all attachments to present and future existences and without difficulty progress toward spiritual existence. Text 17. Tapasvino dana para yashashvino manasvino mantra vidha sumangala shemam na vindanti vinayat pranam tasmai subhadra shravase namo namaha. Let me offer my respectful obeisances unto the all auspicious Lord Sri Krishna again and again. Because the great learned sages, the great performers of charity, the great workers of distinction, the great philosophers and mystics, the great chanters of the Vedic hymns, and the great followers of Vedic principles cannot achieve any fruitful result without dedication of such great qualities to the service of the Lord. Text 18. Kirata Hunandra Pulinda Pulakshaha Abhira Sumbha Yavana Kashuda Yenyacha Papa Yad Apashraya Shraye Sudhyanti Tasme Prabha Vishnave Namaha Kirata Huna Andra Pulinda Pulkasha Abhira Sumbha, Yavana, members of the Kasha races, and even others addicted to sinful acts can be purified by taking shelter of the devotees of the Lord due to his being the supreme power. I beg to offer my respectful obeisances unto him. Text 19. Sir Asia Atma. Atmat Mavatam Adishwarash Trayo Mayo Dharma Mayas Tapo Maya Gata Vyalikar Ajashankara Dibir Vitarkya Lingo Bhagwan Prasidatam. He is the Super Soul and the Supreme Lord of all self realized souls. He is the personification of the Vedas, religious scriptures and austerities. He is worshipped by Lord Brahma and Shiva and all those who are transcendental to all pretensions. Being so revered with awe and veneration, may that supreme absolute be pleased with me. Text 20. Shriya Patir Yajna Pati praja patir, dhiyam patir loka patir dhara patihi, patir gatis chandaka vrishni satvatam, prasidatam me bhagwan satam patihi. May Lord Sri Krishna, who is the worshipable Lord of all devotees, the protector and glory of all the kings like Andaka and Vrishni, of the Yadu dynasty, the husband of all goddesses of fortune, the director of all sacrifices, and therefore the leader of all living entities, the controller of all intelligence, the proprietor of all planets, spiritual and material, and the supreme incarnation on the earth, the supreme all in all, be merciful upon me. Text 21. 
आत्मन वदंती काव्ययो यथारुचम सामे मुकुंदो भगवान प्रसीदताम It is the personality of Godhead Sri Krishna who gives liberation by thinking of his lotus feet at every second following in the footsteps of authorities the devotee in trance can see the absolute truth the learned mental speculators however thinking of him according to their whims may the lord be pleased with me text 22 प्रचोदिताषिताषिता who in the beginning of the creation amplified the potent knowledge of brahma from within his heart and inspired him with full knowledge of creation and of his own self and who appeared to be generated from the mouth of brahma be pleased with me text 23 bhutir mahadvirya imha puro vibhur निर्मेटिटीयूनिवर्स and who in his purusha incarnation causes the living being to be subjected to the 16 divisions of material modes which are his generator be pleased to decorate my statements text 24 namastasme bhagwate vasudevaya ved ase papur gyanam aham saumya I offer my respectful obeisances unto Srila Vyasadeva, the incarnation of Vasudeva, who compiled the Vedic scriptures. The pure devotees drink up the nectarian transcendental knowledge, dropping from the lotus-like mouth of the Lord. Text twenty-five. My dear King Brahma, the fireborn, on being questioned by Narada, exactly apprised him on this subject, as it had been directly spoken by the Lord to his own son. who was impregnated with vedic knowledge from his very birth hari krishna thank you hari krishna thank you everyone and forgive me for my mistakes hari krishna uh, thank you so much uh, shri ji kishori devi mata ji and uh, kusumbiyani mata ji very beautiful recitations in sanskrit and english thank you so much very blissful to hear Okay. Uh, shall we move into the Shrimad Bhagavatam? Shall I shall share my screen? Yes, <coughs> yes Prabhuji. Thank you. Okay, so we are in the Shrimad Bhagavatam, uh, second canto, chapter four, and uh, verse number sixteen. 
So here Sukadeva Goswami is offering his prayers to the Supreme Personality of Godhead before he speaks to Parikshit Maharaj. So let us also offer our prayers, uh, Mangalacharan prayers first, and then we will enter into Sriman Bhagavatam. Oh. Ajnana Timirandasya, Ajnana Anjana Salakaya, Chakshurun Militam Yena, Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha. Sri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam, Stapitam Yena Bhutale, Swayam Rupaha Kadamakyam, Dadati Swapadantikam. One day, Ham Shri Guru. Shri Tapadakamalam, Shri Guru Vaishnavamsham, Shri Ropam Sagrajatam, Sahagana Ragunadan, Vitam Tam Sajivam, Sadvaitam Savadutam, Parijana Sahitam, Krishna Chaitanya Devam, Shri Radha, Krishna Padhan, Sahagana Lalita, Shri Vishakan Vitamsham, he Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Rushuhana Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kalpatarubhya Shakrupa Sindhu Bhyayevacha Padita Nam Pavani Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Namaham Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhotale Shri Mati Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Iti Namini Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhotale Shri Mati Bhakti Vikasa Swamin Iti Namini Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharini Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pashatya Deshatarini Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shri Vasadi Gaurabhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevayam Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevayam Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevayam Purnutam Sokataha Krishna, Punyashravana Kitanaha, Pudjanta Stoy Havadrani, Vidunoti Sukru Satam, Nasta Prai Shobadre, Shodityam Bhagavata Sevaya, Bhagavati Uttamash Loki, Bhakti Bhavati Nashtaki Narayanam Namaswicha, Naram Chaiva Narutam, Devim Saraswatim Vyasam Tato Jai Mudirae. He te cham shakala ha pumsaha krishna to bhagawan swayam indra rivya kulam lokum brian ti yuge yuge idam bhagavatam nam pranam brahma samhitam uttamas lok teritam chakar bhagawan rushihi nishre sai loka dhanam sustaina mahan krishna sudamo pagati dharma dhana rivisaha kaluna srusha mesha purana kodino ditaham krishna ya vasudeva ya deva ke nandana ya cha nanda voka kumara ya govinda ya namo namaha namah pankajana bhaya namah pankajamalini namah pankajanetra ya namaste pankajangrai ati vishvesha vishvatman vishvamurte svakeshami sneha pashmi mam chindi duham pandishu rishnishu tvai menanya vishyara matur madhupate sakkurut Tati Mudva Hatha Daganga Vagumudan Vati Sri Krishna Krishna Saka Rishnu Shavani Drakraj and Yom Shidahana Power Gaviria Govinda Gudvi Jesurati Haravatara Yogesh Rakila Guru Bhagavan Namaste Yogesh Rakila Guru Bhagavan Namaste Yogesh Rakila Guru Bhagavan Namaste Tulayama Levena Pinas for Gamna Punar Bhavam Bhagavat Sangi Sangasya Matje Nam Kimutashaha Punasha Buyad Bhagavat Janente Reti Prasanga Shatadash Rayeshu Mahasuyam Yam of Yam Shristi Maitre Sarvatanamud Vijay Biha Om Namo Bhagavati Radha Govinda Yanamu Hare Krishna. Okay, so thank you so much. 
So here uh, in the Shrimad Bhagavatam, Sukadeva Goswami, uh, he is offering his prayers, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So he started from the verses number 12 uh, and there are around. Uh, it goes up till, uh, I think, 23, 24 verses. So around 13 verses. So here, uh, he is uh, addressing the Supreme Lord in different ways. Namah parasmai purushai bhoyase sadhudhosana nirodha lelaya guhita sikti tayayade hinam antarbhavaya antolakshuatmani The Lord who has taken as the three uh, gunavataras, Brahma, Vishnu and Maheshwara and then he is uh, engaging in this material uh, universe and that is guhita sikti tayayade hinam antarbhavaya antolakshuatmani and Bhuyo Namha Sadruj Nachi, that is <coughs> Bhuyo Namha Sadruj Nachi De Satam, Asambhavaya Akil Satta Mudhaye, Pum Sampunaha Paramaham Shasrame, Vyavistanam, Anurugheda Shuse. He is the Lord who is going to cut the knot of all the material uh, attachments, and also He is only the shelter for the Paramaham Paramaham Shasrame. And for that Lord, I am offering my obeisances. Namo namaste to Rushabai Satkutam, Vishura Kastai, Buhu Puyoginam, nearest the Samyad, Sena Dadasa, Sudamani Brahmani, Ramste Namaha. And the Lord, who is uh, uh, very easy for the devotees and difficult for the demonic people, and He is always enjoying in His abode. And for that Lord, I am offering my obeisances. And further, Yet Ketanam, Yasmaranam, Irikshanam, Yet Bandanam, Yeshravanam, Medarhanam, Locus, as a Jo with no Shikalmasham, Tasmai Subitras Ravase, Namun Namaha. And from whose glories are being uh, sung, and whom if we remember, and whom if we see the Lord, I mean, whom we see, and to whom if we offer our obeisances, and also to whom glories if we hear, and also whom if we worship. And everything, uh, entirely the all local, all the plant systems, everything will be completely purified. For that, Lord, I am offering my obeisances. Likewise, Sukadeva Goswami is keep on uh, glorifying the Lord in different ways and offering obeisances. So within that sequence, so now, uh, in the we are also doing trying to do yet ketanam yasmaranam idikshanam yad bandhanam yashravanam yadarhanam. So now, Sukadev Goswami coming to the point, um, just addressing for the materialistic people, until they are coming, leaving everything else and uh, surrendering themselves to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, they cannot attain any Supreme Happiness. And... Uh, that supreme person for that supreme personality of lord uh, personality of godhead i'm offering my obeisances likewise sukadeva goswami is offering his prayers in the uh, second canto chapter 4 verse number 16 <clears throat> Vichekshana yet cherno pasadana sangam vidasya abhit ubhito antaratmanaham Vindantihi Brahma Gatim Kataklamaham Tasmai Subhadras Ravase Namo Namaham Vichakshana Vichakshanaha So this is the highly intellectual people, the scientific scientists or scholars, whoever it is in the engaging trying to invent new things. Vichakshana Yet Charana Upasadhana Yet Charana and to whose lotus feet Charana Upasadana, simply dedicating oneself onto that lotus feet uh, of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And by after what? Sangam Vidasya, leaving everything. What is that? All the material things, giving up all the material things. Ubhayato Antaratmanaha. And who is present um, and addressing the Lord, he is like a for present and future existence. Antaratmanaha of the heart and the soul, and completely Vindanti uh, Brahma Gatim Gataklamaha. And so he moves progressively, certainly Brahma Gatim Gataklamaha towards the Brahma Gatim, towards spiritual existence, Gataklamaha without any difficulty. 
tasmay subdres revasi namo namaha i am offering uh, my obeisances again again to that lord subdres revasi with all auspicious supreme personality of godhead whose glories are always auspicious to hear and to one who is heard and i am offering my obeisances vichakshana yat charanopasadana sangam vidasya abhayato ubhayato antaratmana vindanthi brahmagatim gatiklamah tasmay subdrasravase namo namaha so translation for this verse let me offer my respectful obeisances again and again onto the all auspicious lord shri krishna the highly intellectual simply by surrendering onto his lotus feet are relieved of all attachments to present and future existence and without difficulty progress toward spiritual existence so here uh, all these uh, materialistic people they have to cut their knot with the material wall and then surrender themselves unto the lotus feet of the lord for their all of species present and future existence spiritual existence okay so purport by shila prabhupada shila prabhupada ki jai lord shri krishna has repeatedly instructed arjuna or for that matter everyone concerned with becoming his unalloyed devotee in the last phase of his instruction in the bhagavad gita 18.64 to 66 he instructed most confidentially as follows sarva guhya tamam bhuya shrunume paramam vachah isto se me dhudam iti tato vakshami te hitam man mana bhava mad bhakto madhyaji mam namaskuru mam me vaishesi satyam te pratijane priyosi me सर्वधर्मान् परित्यज्य माम एकं शरणं व्रज अहं त्वां सर्व पापेभ्यो मोक्षयिष्यामि मा सुचः ओ माय डियर अर्जुन यू आर वेरी डियर टू मी एंड देयरफॉर ओनली फॉर योर गुड आई विल डिस्क्लोज द मोस्ट सीक्रेट पार्ट ऑफ माय इंस्ट्रक्शंस इट इज सिंपली दिस बिकम ए प्योर डिवोटी ऑफ माइन एंड गिव योरसेल्फ ऑन टू मी ओनली एंड आई प्रॉमिस यू फुल spiritual existence by which you may gain the eternal right of transcendental loving service unto me just give up all other ways of religiosity and exclusively surrender unto me and believe that i will protect you from your sinful acts and i shall deliver you do not worry any more and persons who are intelligent take serious notice of this last instruction of the lord knowledge of the self is the first step in spiritual realization which is called confidential knowledge and a step further is god realization which is called more confidential knowledge the culmination of the knowledge of bhagavad gita is god realization and when one attains this stage of god realization he naturally voluntarily becomes a devotee of the lord to render him loving transcendental service this devotional service to the lord is always based on love of god and is distinct from the nature of routine service as prescribed in karma yoga jnana yoga or dhyana yoga in the bhagavad gita there are different instructions for such men of different categories and there are various descriptions for varnashrama dharma sanyas dharma yati dharma the renounced order of life controlling the senses meditation perfection of mystic powers etc but one who fully surrenders unto the lord to render service unto him out of spontaneous love for him factually assimilates the essence of all knowledge described in the vedas one who adopts this method very skillfully attains perfection of life at once and this perfection of human life is called brahmagati or the progressive march in spiritual existence as enunciated by shila jeeva goswami on the basis of vedic assurances brahmagati means to attain spiritual form as good as that of the lord and in that form the liberated living being 
eternally lives on one of the spiritual planets situated in the spiritual sky. Attainment of this perfection of life is easily available to a pure devotee of the Lord without his undergoing any difficult method of perfection. Such a devotional life is full of kirtanam, smaranam, ekshanam, etc. as mentioned in the previous verse. One must therefore adopt this simple way of devotional life in order to attain the highest perfection available any cat in any category of human form of life in any part of the world. When Lord Brahma met Lord Krishna as a playful child at Vrindavana, he offered his prayer in which he said, Shreya Shrutim Bhaktim Udasyate Vibho Klishyanti Teke Vala Bhoda Labdhaye Tesha Maso Kleshala Eva Shishyate Nanyad Yata Stola Tusha Avaghati Nam Bhakti Yoga is the highest quality of perfection to be achieved by the intelligent person in lieu of performing a large quantity of spiritual activities. The example cited here is very appropriate. A handful of real paddy is more valuable than heaps of paddy skins without any substance within. Similarly, one should not be attracted by the jugglery of karmakanda or jnanakanda or even gymnastic performances of yoga, but skillfully should take to the simple performances of kirtanam, smaranam, etc. under a bona fide spiritual master and without any difficulty attain the highest perfection. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. So in this purport, Srila Prabhupada is uh, describing about from the uh, Krishna's instructions. Uh, so what Krishna is saying is the Paramam Bhacha, that is the supreme instruction to Arjuna because uh, he is the very Priyosimi, he is very dear to the Lord. And Krishna, who are practicing devotional service, who have attained the transcendental existence. So for them, Sadhava Hrudayam Mahyam Sadhu Nam Hrudayam Tvaham Najananche Teham. So Lord says, Sadhava Hrudayam Mahyam Sadhu Nam Hrudayam Tvaham. I am in their hearts, they are in my heart. I don't know anyone except them and they don't know except me. So that is, that's why the Lord is saying to Arjuna here because he is very dear, dearer. So, Sarva Guhya Tamam Bhoyaha Shurunime Paramam Bacha. This is the Paramam Bacha, the supreme instruction because Istosimi Dhudamiti Tato Vakshami Tehitam. I am for, for your good sake, I am telling all these instructions. What is that? Manmana Bhava Madbhakto and you become my dear devotee, always think of me and keep only myself in your heart. Madhyaji, you worship me. Mom Namaskuru, you worship, you offer your obeisances to me. Mom Yevashi Satyamte, Pridjani Priyosimi. I am telling this one to you because you are most related to me. So likewise, Krishna, what is the final instruction? Sarva Dharman Parichacha Mam Ekam Saranam Rajaham Tvam Sarva Papi Bhyo Mokshi Shama Sucha. This is again and again. We hear this verse. This is the ultimate and the final instruction of Krishna to Arjuna. Sarma. Either in this material life, either we, whatever we do, our body is going to be decayed. In due course of time, it, going, it is going to be invalid. Kala Pasha Vasham Gataha. At that time, even though we wanted to speak, Vacha Manopi Api Nabrute Kala Pash Vasham Gataha, even though we wanted to offer our obeisances to the Lord and speak, we can't. It is Kala Pash Vasham Gataha. Idam Shariram Parinama Peshalam Paditya Vasham Sandi Jajaram. So this is Kim Aushadehi Klishati Modadhurmate Niramayam Krishna Rasayanam Piba. Always drink the nectar of Krishna and glorify Krishna. Either engaging the body in the material activities for what purpose? Just for eating, sleeping, and mating, only that purpose. But without that endeavor, it is already predestined for a person. For that one, he doesn't have to work too much hard and put too much endeavor unnecessarily. By the Lord's mercy, it is already arranged. Uh, and then what is Lord is asking us humans is just only 
you offer your all your time and everything ardha diya vacha everything etat janma pal etat janma this is complete that is janma sapalyam only to remember krishna all the time that is the janma sapalyam and here uh, further he is saying prabhupada is mentioning about persons who are intelligent take serious notice of this last instruction of the lord this is the very serious sometimes uh, so many people say keep on saying sarva dharman paritijya mam ekam they take it very easily we know this the krishna's instruction he always asking surrender him um to him worship him and then they know it but still they are being engaged in the material activities so because of the covering energy covering illusory energy they don't have the proper faith so that's why they have to associate with the devotees to determine their devotion and faith on the supreme lord satam prasangar mama veer samvido bhavantu kanara sayana kataha tad joshnada so power gavatmani shraddharati bhakti anukramish that way they will get it otherwise even the they know the intelligence will be covered maya purud jnana and all culmination of the knowledge of bhagavad gita is the god realization this is uh, god one has to understand that um, we are a spirit spirit soul and part in mamai vam shu jeev loke jeev bodha sanatan manasa stan indriyani prakriti stani karshati that one that realization what is happening in the past we would reflect devotee only can reflect all these things what is happening and what was the reason and then everything will be culminated in the knowledge of bhagavad gita so that's why he naturally voluntarily becomes a devotee of the lord to render devotional service and then further uh, so propa the mentions all is yogis whatever the yogi it is either karma yogi jnana yogi adhyana yogi everything is a rascal because until they come on to surrender uh, surrender themselves on to the lotus feet of the lord all of their time and energy everything is a useless endeavor of course some people they have got a desire some wanted to acquire knowledge some wanted to meditate or get some siddhis those are all desires everyone has got a some kind of material desire so that is propad is mentioning here until they have to come to uh, unto the lotus feet of the lord so that verse also coming in the next verse so in the bhagavad gita there are different instructions for such men of different categories so because of their qualities there are the various descriptions of varna ashrama dharma and sadhyas dharma or it this is everything is only for अतः पुंबित विजिश्रेष्ठा वर्णाश्रमे विभागशः स्वनिष्ठस्य धर्मस्य संसिद्धिर हरितोषणम् फॉर एवरीथिंग संसिद्धिर हरितोषणम् ओनली फॉर द प्लेजर ऑफ द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड ऑल दिस आश्रमस एंड धर्मस ऑल एग्जिस्ट एंड दे आर ऑल फॉर लिमिटिंग द सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन एंड मेकिंग द प्रोग्रेसिव पाथ टुवर्ड्स द स्पिरिचुअल रियलाइजेशन and here but prabhupada mentions but one who fully surrenders unto the lord to render service unto him out of spontaneous love so the spontaneous love is very very important they say how everyone devotees speak about the krishna prema and how does we get that krishna prema one has to relieve all his mental speculations and uh, render devotional service when we serve the lord the love automatically automatically come and we should not expect anything either fame fame or name or anything like that we simply engage ourselves the things whatever the we are destined to it so we will automatically we do not have to nasta dharme navachinche naiva karma upabhoge yad yad bhavyam bhavatu bhagavan purva karma anurupam yad yad bhavyam bhavatu bhagavan purva karma anurupam they will come automatically based on whatever our past karma we do not have to put much endeavor so here what we need to do is just only uh, offer our devotional service to the lord whatever it is yat karot yat dasnasi dadasi yat yat kurushva tat kurushva yat tapasya si kaunte yat kurushva tat madar kurushva madarpanam everything offer only to me krishna mentioned that one when we do that kind of thing then Uh, we become the devotee of the lord that is the 
Mm. At that time, we get the spontaneous love without any expectations. When Krishna says means, we have to simply accept it. Otherwise, if we use our brain, which is of fault for defects, imperfect senses, falling down, falling to illusion and uh, making mistakes, tend to cheat. All these four things make us imperfect. If we take the perfect knowledge from perfect person, then even though we are imperfect, then we will be in the right path. Krishna will protect us. That knowledge will protect us. And here further, factually assimilates the essence of all knowledge described in the Vedas. That is the Sarvasechaham Pudisannivishto Matta Smriti Jnanam Apohanam Cha Vedesh Sarvaira Hameva Vedjo Vedanta Purud Veda Videva Chaham That is the ultimate knowledge only to know about the Lord and surrender unto Him. Jnanavan Maam Prapadjite Vasudeva Sarvam Viti Jnanavan Maam Prapadjite Bahunam Janmana Bahunam Janmanam Jnanavan Maam Vasudeva Sarvam Viti Samahatma Sudhirlabaha Krishna mentioned that one such kind of people are very rare Samahatma Sudhirlabaha Vasudeva Sarvam Viti after so many lifetime Bahunam Janmanam at the end of all of their endeavors then only they will come so that is that if one simply take under this instruction hearing from the devotees then automatically he will uh, very skillfully attains perfection of life at once as simple as that but how much time it takes to adopt this method very skillfully it takes a minute a moment if he is an intelligent person Otherwise, it will take, if he is really materialistic, he will never ever take, even though if we just, we have to shed lots of tons of blood to make him understand. So, and this perfection of human life is called Brahmagati. It's relieving oneself from the birth, old age, the disease and death. That is called uh, Samsriti. That is called Brahma. Whenever he is released, then he attained the Brahma, Brahmagati or the progressive march in the spiritual existence. This is Mamchayo Mamchayo Avichare and Bhakti Yoga in Sevati Sagunan Samki Techan Brahma Boya Kalpate. So this is one has to Mamcha Abhivichare na Bhakti Yoga na Sevate. That is Sevate. Only one has to serve the Lord. Abhivichare na not Vivichare na engaging here on one side and having a duplicity in the activities. That should not be there. Otherwise, he cannot get the Brahmagati. Some people speak one thing and then do one thing when we don't, no one sees. So that is a duplicity. And we have to be always only sticking on to one activity only. So that is Abhivijare na Bhakti Yoga na Sevati. Sagunan Samati Teitan Brahma Bhoya Kalpati. Then only Brahmagati he will attain or the progress much in the spiritual existence. So Brahmagati is, so Sri Jiva Goswami is saying is the, uh, what is this liberated living being eternally lives on, on the spiritual planets. This is, Manishitanu anubhavoyam mamaloka avalokanam yad vupasurcha rahasi chakadha paramam tapaha. When the Lord speaks to Brahma, O oh Brahma, after every endeavor in your, in the life, either tapasya or jnana, whatever it is, at the end, Manishitanu Anubhavoyam Mamaloka Avalokanam. One has to come to my planet and enjoy it and live with me. But you have done you have done tapasya by hearing the, those two words, tha and pa, and now uh, you have attained that uh, kind of status. So before this is the beginning of the creation, Brahma has done that tapasya. So the Lord speak to Brahma. And you have heard, you have heard those instructions from me. Even though you have not seen me, but by hearing, you have taken. This is the Shruti. By hearing the instructions from the authority and uh, cultivate the spiritual knowledge and uh, spiritual progress. And then further, uh, so attainment of this perfection of life is easily available to a pure devotee of the Lord without his undergoing any difficult method of perfection. Some people they engage themselves in the tapasya. 
ತಥಾ ಪರಿಚಾತ್ಮ ಸಮಾಧಿಯೋಗ ಬಲೇನ ಜಿತ್ವ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಬಲಿಷ್ಠಾಂ ತ್ವಾಮೇವ ಧೀರಾ ಪುರುಷಂ ವಿಶಂತಿ ತೇಷಾಂ ಶ್ರಮ ಸ್ಯಾನತು ಸೇವಯಾತೆ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಇ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಲೋನ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ತಥಾ ಪರಿಚಾತ್ಮ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಯೋಗ ಬಲೇನ ಜಿತ್ವ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಬಲಿಷ್ಠಾಂ ದೇ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಬಲಿಷ್ಠಾಂ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಕೌಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೇಸ್ ದೈ ದೈವೀ ಏಷ ದೈವಿ ಏಷ ಗುಣಮಯಿ ಮಮ ಮಾಯ ದುರ್ಚಯ ಬಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಗೋ ಆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಯಾನತು ಸೇವೆಯಾತೆ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ಎಂಗೇಜಿಂಗ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದ ಡಿವೋಷನಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಅಟೈನ್ ದ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿಲಿ ವೈ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಟು ದ ಅದರ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಈವನ್ ದೋ ದೇ ಅಪಿಯರ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಂಘ ಆರ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ so that is the devotee's life so krishna's ultimate instruction is one has to uh, stay within the society or wherever he is engaged and then engage all his activities in only devotional service to krishna that is very easy elevate himself and elevate others also that is stated in mahaprabhu's instruction as well who have taken birth at at least in the uh, bharata varsha so that is from this verse and also uh, brahma's prayer to krishna uh, also is the he is also mentioning about different yogas like a karma kanda jnana kanda they are all just like a uh, the skin of a rice they don't have anything inside the they don't have any substance within it only devotional service it has got uh, the, complete substance in it because the supreme lord he is the um, only one we are all the devotees take the shelter of the lotus feet of the lord and then we receive unlimited happiness from the lord among the devotees association this is by simply kirtanam smaranam yat kirtanam smaranam yadikchanam yad bandhanam shravanam yadarhanam lokasya sadhno vinosha karmasham tasmay subhadrasyavase namo namaha so that's why when krishna comes here into this material world and perform his uh, transcendental activities uh, that's only for our purpose our benefit mangalay cha kshemaan kshema so the, this is also mentioned in the shrimad bhagavatam first canto uh, that abhijitra is speaking to arjuna saying that kshema mangalay cha kshemaanam bhavay cha so he says asti adi ಆಸ್ತಿ ಎದುಕುಲ ಅಂಭೋದವ್ ಆಧ್ಯೋ ಅನಂತ ಸಖಃ ಪುಮಾನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎದು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಚಿರಿಡಂತಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪೌರುಷಿಕ ಯುವ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಎಂಜಾಯಿಂಗ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಮಹಾಪೌರುಷ ಲೈಕ್ ವೈಕುಂಠ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವೆನ್ ಯರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ದ್ವಾರಕ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಆಪ್ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಎಂಜಾಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ಫಿಯರ್ ಮಹಾಪೌರುಷಿಕ ಯುವ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ವೈಕುಂಠ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ಫಿಯರ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಶೆಲ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಲಿವ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ so further so we shall move on to the next verse we are uh, just to will be taking few more minutes uh, sukadev goswami is further saying tapasvino dana par dana para yasasvino manasvino mantra vidha sumangalaha kshemam na vinnante vina yadarpanam tasmai subhadra sravase namo namaha so tapasvino dana para yasasvino tapasvino a person who is performing tapas tapasya tapasvino dana para who is addicted to give charity in generous generate um, generously to all the people tapasvino dana para a charitable person yasasvino who has got a name and manasvino who is the mental speculator mantra vidaha who is performing all the great chantra of the vedic hymns sumangalaha and uh, performing strict followers of the vedic principles sumangalaha kshemam na vinnanti they don't get any auspiciousness kshemam na vinnanti vina yadarpanam until they offer all of their tapasya and dana yasya and uh, mind thinking about the supreme lord and chanting hymns only for the lord or uh, performing auspicious activities only for the lord until they do do it only for the lord they don't get any auspiciousness for themselves kshemam na vinnanti vina until ye darpanam until they offer everything to the supreme personality of god head for that lord i am offering my obeisances tasmai subhadra srevase namo namaha againanda gain 
So this is also in the beginning. Uh, Sutta Goswami also mentions Vasudeva Para Veda, Vasudeva Para Makaha, Vasudeva Para Yoga, Vasudeva Para Kriyaha, Vasudeva Param Dhyanam, Vasudeva Parintapaha, Vasudeva Paro Dharma, Vasudeva Para Gatihi. Everything only for the men, meant for Vasudeva only. Here, any Tapaspino or Dana Para or Yasespino, Manaspino, Mantri Vida, Sumangala, all these things. They don't get any kshemam until they offer themselves yadarpanam, uh, everything to the Supreme Lord. So, so translation for this verse. Let me offer my respectful obeisances unto the all auspicious Lord Shri Krishna again and again. Because the great learned sages, the great performers of charity, the great workers of distinction, the great philosophers and mystics, the great chanters of the Vedic hymns and the great followers of Vedic principles cannot achieve any fruitful result without dedication of such great qualities to the service of the Lord. See, without dedication, they can't achieve any fruitful result. So generally, we also, in a, whatever we do, we say it is Guru Krupa, Krishna Krupa, like that. But here, uh, Prabhupada is mentioning, um, Sukadeva Goswami is mentioning all of such kind of categories. Whatever we do, we have to offer it to, to Krishna. The what Krishna is mentions, uh, yad karosh, yad dasnasi, the, that uh, whatever we perform, that is, kurushva uh, madarpanam, we need to offer as an offering to the Lord. And here Sukadeva Goswami is speaking the same thing in a different way. Okay, so purport by Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Advancement of learning a charitable disposition, political, social or religious leadership of human society, philosophical speculations, the practice of the yoga system, expertise in the Vedic rituals and all similar high qualities in man serve one in the attainment of perfection only when they are employed in the service of the Lord. Without such doubtailing, all such qualities become sources of trouble for people in general. Everything can be utilized either for one's own sense gratification or in the service of one other than oneself. There are two kinds of self-interest also, namely personal selfishness and extended selfishness. But there is no qualitative difference between personal and extended selfishness. Theft for personal interest or for the family interest is of the same quality, namely criminal. A thief pleading not guilty because of committing theft not for personal interest but for the interest of society or country has never been excused by the established law of any country. People in general have no knowledge that the self-interest of a living being attains perfection only when such interest coincides with the interest of the Lord. For example, what is the interest of maintaining the body and soul together? One earns money for maintenance of the body, personal or social. But unless there is God consciousness, unless the body is being properly maintained to realize one's relation with God, all good efforts to maintain body and soul together are similar to the attempts of the animals to maintain body and soul together. The purpose of maintaining the human body is different from that of the animals. Similarly, advancement of learning, economic development, philosophical research, study in the Vedic literature, or even execution of pious activities like charity, opening of hospitals, and the distribution of food grains, should be done in relation with the Lord. The aim of all such acts and endeavors must be the pleasure of the Lord and not the satisfaction of any other identity, individual, all or collective. Some siddhir haritoshanam, everything is for the haritoshanam. In the Bhagavad Gita 9.27, the same principle is confirmed, where it is said that Whatever we may give in charity and whatever we may observe in austerity must, give, must be given over to the Lord or be done on his account only. The expert leaders of a godless human civilization cannot bring about a fruitful result in all their different attempts. 
at educational advancement or economic development unless they are god conscious and to become god consciousness one has to hear about all auspicious lord as he is described in literature like the bhagavad gita and the shrimad bhagavatam shil prabhupad ki jai so in this purport prabhupad is again explaining about everything all this uh, charitable charitable disposition and everything only for the uh, pleasure of krishna only and to attainment of perfection of human life and they employed in the service of the lord without such dovetailing all such qualities become it is a useless endeavor this is uh, dharma swanishta pumsam viswaksena katha suyah ोकम विशंति of ordinary whole dharma follower unless if he is surrendering himself on to the lord through devotional service which is ultimately again and again being stressed there are two kinds of self interest also this is uh, the family and the for himself personal selfishness and extended selfishness is the atma jaya sutagar pasu dravina bandhu Atmajaya, Sutagara, Pasu, Dravina, Bandhushu, everything, all the wife, children and all the animals and vehicles, everything, all the home, all the paraphernalia, all these things. So when a person has got all these things, it will be strongly rooted in the heart. Niruda Mola Hudayam, Niruda Mola Hudayam, Bahuman, he, he thinks that he has got everything. Atmanum bahumanyate, he thinks that he is rich but nothing else comes. But for that sake, he commits so many sinful activities. He, himself and also the family also both going to, going into the hell. Both. So, that, are, that is also mentioned by Kapil Bhagavan in the third canto in the 31-32 chapter. He men, in the 31-32 chapters, he mentions that how a person commits so many sinful activities for the sake of himself and the immediate family, just for the sake of Kutum Bhabarana, maintaining the family. But at the same time, so here, uh, whoever is the devotee of the Lord, he knows what to do, act and what not to act. And he, he goes accordingly. So that's why he, fall in, he doesn't fall into that trap of the Deva Maya. Or it is otherwise. He even the people they got very hellish kind of body. He doesn't want to leave such kind of body, and he always try to earn so much of money for himself. Yam yam adam upadatte, and whatever the he earn so much of money. Yam yam adam upadatte, dukkhe na sukha he tere, and with so much of hard labor, and he earns it for what. to enjoy himself but tam tam dunodi bhagavan the lord will take everything away in in the form of time factor tam tam dunodi bhagavan puman so chetiyat krute and then he will cry because that my wealth is gone and then he will again work hard and that way a intelligent person he just uh, earns his livelihood as much as needed only that much and so that his devotional life will carry very smoothly that is the intelligent person does and that was the uh, sanatana dharma and still some families follow in the in india who are following sanatana dharma but people are far away from the sanatana dharma so they don't have much information how to maintain their family otherwise the government is forcing people to work uh, so much of hard that the cheating so that is once again rastani eva aviropitani this is uh, dharma speaks to uh, mother earth in the form of cow so about the influence of kali rastani eva aviropitani the politicians they will make everything ruining the uh, state affairs and here uh, either personal or family interest is namely a criminal 
either it is for himself or a family he's a criminal uh, so he has that's why uh, he has to whenever we eat food also we offer it to the lord everything because it belongs to krishna he is by his grace we are getting the uh, this rice or the seeds into our plate in a cooked manner and then we accept as a prasadam otherwise he is eating bunjete uh, and tad uh, this is just like a sinful even if without offering anything to lord at least we have to remember the lord when if it, there is no lord at the there at least sarvam sri krishna par brahma to everything offering to the lord even though i'm taking just remembering when there are no proper facilities sarvam sri krishna par brahma to only for the lord i'm taking only for the tummy sake not for the tongue sake Okay, so for the proper is mentioning here. Uh, so, uh, but because committing theft for personal interest, but for interest society, country never been excused by the established law of any country. So this is not accepted by the law of the country. And for the proper is explaining about maintaining the body and soul together. Even animals also does that one, uh, but they don't have God consciousness. So there is no difference. And everything else uh, that is the God consciousness is very important. A pur purpose of maintaining the human body is different from that of animals. Yes, again, uh, advancement of learning, economic development, philosophical, everything is only to attain. That is the ante narayana smithi, that is the nijalabham. And then everything should be in relation with the Lord. Aim of all such acts and endeavors must be for the pleasure of the Lord, not for the sense of satisfaction of any other identity or individual or collective. We speak only for pleasure of the Lord. Haritoshanam, Sansiddh Haritoshanam, not for personal things. So, otherwise, Hitva uh, Srunvanti Asat Kataha. Hitva Srunvanti Asat Kataha. That is mentioned in the Bhagavatam by Kapil Bhagavan. Whoever is uh, leaving Krishna Kata, Yecha, yecha Krishna Katamrutam, Krishna Kata Sudam, that is, that is Hitva Shrinvanti Asat Kataha, what it is comparing with, um, that is Purishim, Purisham, with Bujaha, Purishim, with Bujaha, a person, he is eating, uh, a pig eating the stool, Purishim. Purisham Iva Vidbujaha, a pig is eating the stool. Likewise, the materialistic people are hearing all the kata which is not Krishna. That is exactly mentioned. I was also wondering about it. So many times we all speak, but there is an evidence in the Shastra as well, how the people are taking pleasure. So that is the Expert leaders of godless human salvation cannot bring about a fruitful result in all of the different attempts at education, whatever it is. So, unless they are God consciousness. So, one has to hear Srimad Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam from the uh, devotees, among the devotees, from the scriptures and from the realized souls. So, that is the Prabhupada's instruction in the purport. So I shall stop here and uh, shall request any devotees. If you have got any questions or any comments or any additions, uh, kindly share. Hare Krishna. So that is the verse. Tapas vino dana para isis vino manas vino mantri vida sumangalaha kshemam na vinanti vinayadar panam tasmai subhudra sravase namo namaha. And Sukadeva Goswami finally he also says, Sami, uh, he mentions that when all of my solemn sister Bhagavan Vacham Simi, the May Lord, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, will be pleased with my words, whatever the offerings I'm doing. Likewise, he's going to speak. We also pray that uh, Lord will be pleased with our words. We are trying to share among ourselves. This is Parasparanu Katanam Pavanam Bhagavad Yashaham Mito. Tushtihi mito ratihi nivruttihi mita atmanaha. This is one way everyone will be pleased. Tushtihi ratihi and nivruttihi. All the material things will go away. Mita atmanaha and he will attain the transcendental platform. So,
So that is Parasparanu Katham Krishna Katha. Okay, I shall stop here. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. You can accept my humble obeisances, so good Shura Prabhupada. Thank you, Prabhuji, for this nice class. I have a little question. Uh, you just said that <clears throat> whatever uh, we consume, whatever we eat, offer to the Lord. So suppose we are traveling and there's no facility to offer to the Lord, like directly as we offer Boga at home. Is there a simple prayer that we can recite before honoring um, anything while we are traveling? Uh, so prayer, uh, I don't know very any prayer, but Sarvam Sri Krishna Tad uh, Parabrahma Arpanamastu. So I just mentioned whatever I take only for the sake of keeping body and soul. Uh, Sri Krishna Parabrahma Arpanamastu, a simple uh, a few, few words of prayer without much. Uh, but there may be few things. Uh, I don't remember all of those verses. Whenever we take Prasadam, there is a uh, Maha Prasad Govinde. It's a long verses, but this is a short verse in a emergency time. So I just recited this one. Hare Krishna Mataji. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you. I, I don't know. There is another prayer. If it's if it's um if it's bona fide, I don't know. Um Diyam Bastu Govindam to be many samarpitiya grihana nam sanmukto bhujya prasad. So, like meaning, I'm offering to you because it belongs to you, and then after you after you accept it, I will honor it. I'm not sure if it's if it's okay to to chant that prayer. As long as it is, we are dovetailing all the prayers and after going only towards Lotus Feet of Krishna, anything will be. Tadvag visar go janata go be plo yes pin pe sloka ma badha vachhe pe na maniya nante se so unki taaniya shri nante gaaye nante guru nante sadhava ha. Either it is so much of so much of mistakes, but if it is pleasing to the for the pleasure of the Lord, so many mistakes, but still uh, the devotees they will accept it as with great pleasure and the Lord also bhagrahi janadana. So as long as the prayer is for the Lord in the heart, then. Yes, it is bona fide. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Uh, I'm just wondering, it's, it's a gray area in a way, lots of questions around offering food because we are a busy nation and sometimes we don't have the opportunity to be directly with, with deities or, or talk to Krishna, uh, you know, in that form when we we're out. But there's been recently, I've heard most talks around just offer Krishna a leaf, a flower or water, and he'd be satisfied. And it could be, you can do that anywhere, any place. I just wondered about, the actual um, food sometimes we take when we're running around. If you're not directly with Krishna or where the deities are and you, you can actually have a silent prayer, surely. I'm not sure, you know, I want to really be clear about this. It's, it's not um, straightforward, is it? In, yeah. in the Busy material world nowadays. Yes, Mataj. Again, so it is a if it is an unplanned one and we have to take something, accept some uh, prasadam, then our prayers to the Lord and then as much as possible, as comfortable um, as an offering to the Lord and then uh, accept as a prasadam. That is the only I can think of it, but uh, I don't know. The it's, it's remembering the Lord most important, isn't it? Yes, and yes. and and whatever you're eating, you 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 gr gr show gratitude that is coming from him. And and yeah, you you always acknowledge it. But yeah, I I've I've been in a position where I find that I keep forgetting when I'm out. Yeah. Yes, Mataji. Thank you. Thank you. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Kr
but I'm trying my best. But I feel reassured when when um um you know Vaishnavas is saying that all he needs is a you know for you to offer a leaf a flower like that. Um, Shastrik verse says, um, with, with your heart, you know, as long as you remember him and you offer him something. Yeah, Lord sees only the heart, what we are doing, how we are doing, but in what circumstances we are doing. Thank you very much, Hari Baba. Thank you so much, Mataji. So we are five past ten o'clock, so... Any other questions or we shall conclude our session for today? Okay, thank you so much. Vancha Kalpatara Bhyasha Krupatindu Bhyayevacha Paritanam Svavanim Vaishnavibhyo Vaishnavibhyo Aranta Poti Vaishnavibhyo Vaishnavindaki Krupatiki Jai Thank you for the time. Thank you, Krishna. Yeah. Beautiful class. Thank you, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna.